Joining me today is the amazing Eugene, the creator of Galaxy Box, which is these awesome ge uh, geekdom, freaking fandom mystery boxes that I'm so excited for you to hear about. Hello, Eugene. How are you? Hey, Enrique. I'm well in yourself. Thanks for having me, man. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Can you tell everybody else what is the Galaxy Box? What is the tagline? All right. So I'm hoping that this becomes a synonym for being uh, feeling like a kid again, um, where you open up a box, a loot box in essence, and feel like a kid on Christmas Day. So um, basically, that Galaxy Box is everything you've ever wished for in a loot box. Um, we really wanted to go all out um, by making people's um, collectibles uh, um, a little bit of a, a better, um, how can I say, like it must be something of value at the end of the day, where you don't just get three little things in a box and pay until you um you 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 basically pay for everything like honestly it's you've seen the loot crates that that's out there yeah, and how crazy, crazy they yeah. can get so yeah so um we're pretty much doing everything star wars uh, pokemon harry potter marvel dc gaming uh, the gaming world is so big so anything gaming and also lego wow. in our boxes so you can oh. actually choose up to three um little uh, three different categories at the end of the day and um yeah just create a nice personalized box for you we pack it ship it and hopefully you feel like a kid again <laughs> i love that part feel like a kid again i really love that part and i think uh, a lot of the boxes that have been shown so far i have felt that way you know like uh, yeah, you get you, the man. stuff and feeling it we i actually just watched the stream with Micheline or Kashmir tart as she's known yes, online yes, and yes. Uh, where she played hogwarts legacy and then Unbox the what did you call it the diamond box yes that's our diamond box that's yeah yeah it was amazing it's just boxes. i think this just shows the uh the excitement that she had right look at that that is just the excitement <laughs> that she had the and that's box. exactly what we're going for man you can see she looks like a kid on christmas right Day. it does feel like she does look like she's feeling like a kid again exactly and i think that's amazing <laughs> yes, and that's... it just shows this just encapsulates everything that comes in the box, you know, and yeah, what you're yeah, trying exactly, to do. Man. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, that it is was amazing. Actually, to, it was very you know, awesome. To feel like a kid again. Were you excited with the stream? How was it? How did it go? Oh, yes. Um, I, like personally watching the stream because I watched the whole thing from start to finish. And like I, I couldn't tell, but just have a smile on my face the whole time. Like the way she reacted um, to our box that just melted my heart at the end of the day because i know that that's what we try to achieve by building her box and you know we we put stuff in that she's cosplayed before and all of that like that kind of brings that personal personalized um mystery to it as well because i mean i don't know her personally but we could actually put um, a box together for her that she appreciated um and i think she felt like it was something that um, nobody else could possibly think of getting her. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was it was like personalized to her, not just the yes. fandom that you say you can choose yes. from, but it was personalized to her and what she's loved yes, in exactly. the box, you know? That was really And that's cool what we want to do with everybody who buys our boxes. Nice. So how has it been since the stream? Uh, has it been crazy? Because I know she's got a crazy big following and I'm sure people yes, have yes, been she does. going insane with you guys. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I can't tell you. My Instagram has just lit up <laughs> after that. And even the next day, even today still, like people, <laughs> I can see the interest is there. People have watched it. Um, if you haven't watched the stream yet, go. Uh, you'll see it um, on my on the, on the Galaxy Box um, Instagram page. We've linked it. We've linked it in our link tree as well. Oh, um, nice. Yes. A look. Okay, so yeah. yes, on on uh, Twitch, you can find it as Cashmere Tot. We'll put it in the yes. chat or something like that. But yes. Go and find the stream now. It was about two days ago. You'll see it as yes. it's listed as Hogwarts Legacy once more, English today. Yes. All right. So go check out yes, that stream. Yes. Um, but yes, I really loved it. It was such an exciting moment um, to see a physical reaction of somebody opening any one of your boxes. You know, that was really <laughs> yeah. cool. <laughs> and of yeah, course, no, the other it, one, man. the one that actually introduced me to it was uh, Cyber Khajiit. I love the yes. one that she did. It was so cool. 
Um, and yeah, I mean, that's how I found out about you guys. You know, she became my second subscriber of all time on, on TikTok. <laughs> I saw that. So Congratulations, man. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. But yeah, I just want to do what a shout out to her and the stuff that she does. And she's the official partner for you guys. So I'm so excited yes, that's to see true. the stuff that um, you both are working on. Yes. So just a little bit about her. She is, um, so we met um, on Instagram uh, where we started talking and all that. And like I've seen some of her content that she creates and it's just absolutely beautiful. You can see it's very thoughtful. Oh, she pristine. puts a lot of effort in it. Yes, exactly. So um, we couldn't let that opportunity pass <laughs> us. We had to jump on board with her and um, nice. she was very keen. And yeah. uh, we, we set up the silver box for her to start with. And yes, like she enjoyed that, man. She <laughs> was also blown away by how personalized it got. And, you know, like as if, if, if for instance, you subscribe to our um, boxes, um, the more frequent, obviously, the boxes come month to month by month. Um, we want to have that little bit of an interaction because we kind of need to get to know you as a person what you like, what you don't like, and stuff like that. So the personalized effect will even grow better as we go along. But hopefully our first box to you, I mean, that's the first impression that, uh, that you're going to decide if you want to keep doing it or not, you know. <laughs> but I, I like that you your vision is that an evolving relationship, you know, that keeps going yes. with your likes and preferences because sometimes it changes over time. You know, and new Definitely, stuff comes yes. out. <laughs> new stuff comes out. Like I mean, Hogwarts exactly, Legacy yeah, coming man. out, and we're like, no, okay, we want Harry Potter stuff, but we want Hogwarts Legacy <laughs> stuff in there, right? Yes. You know, so so that's how yes, the relationship exactly. can evolve. You know, as you see new stuff. Um, I mean, Baby Grogu when that first came out, if that was type yes. of, if that was type, <laughs> your type of relationship, and you're like, okay, in the next subscription box, Eugene, this is what I want. I need more Baby Grogu, dude. <laughs> Everything. I want yes, a cheat Grogu. You. I want a planter Grogu. <laughs> a pencil case. Whatever you got, man. Just hook it up. And there's so many collectibles out there. And yes, we hope exactly. to grow with and all I the think industries. That's the, I mean, that's the difficulty with collection, you know, is that there's so yes. many different types of merch. Um, but there's also so yes. much potential, you know, in terms of just the creators in South Africa that create the merch for it, you know, and, and have different ideas yeah. and unique takes on it. Um, I don't know about yeah, that definitely. yet, so I was going to ask you, you know, I know you say that it's licensed um, merchandise as well, and you also have to cover yeah. yourself, but in terms of that, like, are you looking at also uh, funding the South African creators in the way that they have their own takes on merch um, and getting that involved with your boxes? Um, yes, at the end of the day, the, the boxes are supposed to be a valuable thing. It's supposed to be something that people want to collect. So as much as we are doing licensed products and all that, um, and as far as we want to steer clear from handmade kind of stuff, um, at the end of the day, the, the valuable stuff is what we want to put in those boxes. So mm. even if it's not an official or licensed product, but it's still something so epically cool, we want that in our boxes. So okay. it's not a no-go at all. And our boxes are so customizable. So like, we building that for you. So what you want in the box at the end of Can the day, come, even yeah. though it's a mystery box, it's going to come. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, and if it's gifted to somebody, you know, and if they like something specific some way, you know, yes. you can have it in the box as well. Okay. I love that. And yes, again, yes. it's individual. So it doesn't have to be like, okay, I have it now. You have to have it, you know, it's more like. Yes, um, each box individual. will be special yeah. and um, unique at the end of the day. Cause it's your box. Okay. Awesome. I just have to open this <laughs> now before the next question because it's going to do that. Is sound. that a slayer? I'm <laughs> it's going to do the sound. Yeah. <laughs> nice one, man. Mm. It's even dropping down. Wow. Dude, I'm and telling you, Slayer one slap. Oh, I love it. I am an OG. <laughs> I'm an OG fan. They they did me so <laughs> dirty the other day because they did a, a one of those polls that they have on their, on their thing and it was um, yes. Slayer 1 and Blood Orange, which one is better? I'm like, how can you make me choose? <laughs> I can't choose. Yeah, I, mean, I, have, want to. <laughs> I have that OG love for the original flavor. Um, but now Blood yes. Orange is delicious. You know, it's actually yes, lighter no, I love the flavor. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know how to choose <laughs> between either one, man. It's too hard. Uh, no, I but yeah, say, I'm going like, to be sipping this while we... Have our conversation, no, and I'm excited fine. that you guys are actually partnering with Slayer, right? 
Um, I wouldn't say partner. So we've got something in the, Just a in fan. the mix coming up, <laughs> awesome fan. which I'm definitely not gonna um, touch on right now. But there is something, something. <laughs> nice keeping the mystery, Eugene. The I love it. Nice keep the mystery. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, sounds well, just we like Dennis and you. So. Yeah, that sounds just like Dennis <laughs> and you. They come up with something <laughs> to entice me. Now <laughs> I want to wait and see. <laughs> yes, but um, if I can say, it is um, also involving Cyber Kajit. And ah, nice. um, it's very exciting. So hopefully yeah, okay. awesome. soon, maybe in the next couple of months, uh, you'll start seeing stuff on our Instagram, on CyberCashit's Instagram as well about that. Nice. Okay. So in like, <laughs> in an awesome, I would still say it's a partnership, man. Maybe it's not official <laughs> partnership, but it's still dope. It's coming out. It's coming. Yes. Look out for that, guys. Yes. All right. So <clears throat> the original question that I wanted to ask you, and I'm actually thinking I'm going to put this in the beginning of the video is i want you to tell me eugene what is the origin story of galaxy box you know how did it come about how did the origin the idea originate um and yeah just tell us the origin story of galaxy box <laughs> okay i'm gonna try and keep it as short as possible but <laughs> so at the end of the day it all comes down to me as a child again um i had a nice upbringing with um loving parents and um, I was in a comfortable space where gaming was already part of my life um, uh, growing up as a kid. So I got a PlayStation, a PlayStation 1, and you're, I can't even say which year, but roughly when I was six, seven years old. So at the end of the day, um, the first game that I got is actually one that my parents chose because I'm still young and they obviously wouldn't... Um, want to buy me something that's graphic or all of that but my first game that i played on my playstation one final fantasy 7 oh, and nice. that was that was such an epic game to start well to get introduced to the gaming world and like the storytelling of it so everything essentially started there and my love for for gaming and for the whole geek geekdom started there um, but if I have to say where Galaxy Box came from, um, just, so just about, just before um, COVID actually started back in um, end of 2019, um, like I was in a space where uh, I, I got retrained from my job and oh, um, man, I'm sorry. I kind of had to, I had to make a decision on if I'm going to continue um, working for a boss or can I start my own business? But now, what am I starting with? And at that stage, I was um, also kind of deep into loot crates and things like that. But I thought to myself, you know, we don't have that in South Africa. Um, that's something that can be a lot less pricey and um, it will be a local business. So that's where this, the thought of it started. Um, so it's been a journey. And um, But essentially, I had to make uh, the decision to get another job. And... Um, work for someone and that just egged me on more to think about this harder and try and get it get it going so eventually in 2022 last year um i did manage to put everything together started doing the website um and yes now we're here but um if i also have to just backtrack again to my childhood you know um i'm not sure how old are you if you can just quickly answer that <laughs> I am at the point where I think Digimon was my first <laughs> PlayStation One game. <laughs> I, okay. I'm I'm at the okay. age I'm at the age where Pokemon we used to get Pokemon on a on a floppy disk. <laughs> we okay, used to yeah. Play Pokemon okay, no. on a floppy disk. <laughs> <laughs> I think we are we're the same age. So I come <laughs> okay. from from that background way, and I I don't know if you remember, but CNA used to do this little subscribe. Um, features where you subscribe to a magazine and there was one specifically about dinosaurs. I think the magazine was called Dinosaurs and you could literally get um, 3D glasses with oh, um, the magazine. Oh, I and think like I used to get uh, I am built a robot from that damn subscription thing. They sent me robot <laughs> yes. parts every single month and I built a yes, robot from it. Like they had, they had a lot of different ones like that and like a more recent one that they did but Obviously, they don't do that anymore. What's the Harry Potter chess set? So a lot of those little subscription things stuck with me. 
Mm. Um, I remember there was one that they did about um, rocks and minerals where I collected all of that. There was once upon a time um, little Marvel figurines, and that's yes. actually the ones that are here behind me, um, like this, oh, which they did. Man, and I so still cool. have this from my childhood, man. So, <laughs> wow. At the end of the day, like when I started thinking about the, the idea of Galaxy Box, I can kind of have to thank them for it because I wanted something like that. And I remember how that made me feel every time I. I actually waited for the next month to come out. Like you would open your box for for that month, and now we're thinking, should I have to to really wait the whole month to do this again? But, but wow, man, like you actually the, like the took me back day. to that to those subscription things. I didn't even think about <laughs> yes. it until today, and how you made it sound, um, and the excitement yes, of but... opening that stuff. Is that also going to be a feature that would come into play with the subscription boxes? Is like a build on it kind of thing, where you would yes. send it in sort of even pieces. You know, yeah. So, so it's a bold what, final we, piece. what we thought about with our subscriptions is um so, so specifically the the three months, the six months, and the twelve month options that we have. If um you purchase that, we want to incorporate that into the boxes. Like for instance, a uh, Harry Potter chest set. If you don't yeah. have one already, so um obviously if you sign up, we will ask you for um if you if you've got something like that, but. If you don't, then that's going to be part of the, the box at the end of the day. So we'll send you piece by piece and you can literally over the 12 months or six months or three months wow, and that's put, awesome, your, man. put your thing together. Yeah, yeah, I love it. And it actually um, informs that decision of pricing, you know, and you're breaking yeah. it down instead of the big price. You're actually paying per month and you get the thing per month until it finally yeah, becomes yeah, the yeah. final product. That is amazing because but then the, beauty, the, the beauty, thing with geek stuff is be, that they're very expensive. You know, so you're breaking yes. it down for them. You're breaking it down yes. that we can actually, instead of saving uh, per month, which you know life happens, and then that savings yes. go out the door, right? So it's better that we exactly. pay that per month and it pulls up over time and then you give us, you know, the final product. Um, I, I exactly love that. that man. I love that decision. That's amazing. Is it? Yes. Is it? Okay, so what I want to ask you is how is it different from, what did you say, Loot Crate? I'm not really familiar that much with it. Yes, yes. So Loot Crate um, used to be it. I, I think they, um, they're they not operating anymore. Maybe they are, but um, I, I honestly don't see a lot of hype around it anymore. But basically, it was similar items that we would also sort, um, but there was literally no personal aspect to it. Um, I honestly don't think you could subscribe for that many periods. Um, yeah, at the end of the day, like I, I just feel like the boxes that um, they put together um, and other companies as well just aren't thoughtful enough. Like they slap a couple of things in a box and ship it, and you paid three, four thousand rand for it, and wow. you're happy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, so I mean, I like with ours, I like the idea that it is geek centered. I mean, I think even a few years ago, I was even like, why can't I subscribe for something and I get the geek stuff that I want sent in there? Because yes. I am so yes. freaking picky and cautious when I buy much, dude. <laughs> I'm so bad at it because I literally rather yeah, think yeah. of life instead of, you know, buying much. <laughs> because life really does take a lot out of you in in terms of adulting. Um, and I usually yeah, have to save yeah, up for stuff. Like the Grogu thing, I painstakingly for freaking months saved up for it, dude. <laughs> uh, even the Hogwarts <laughs> Legacy game, I saved up for months for it. Because I know my yeah. spending habits and I know I would rather save for something and get it, you know, uh, peacefully and safely than like spontaneously, yeah. you know, wasting money. And you're like, oh, crap, I have this awesome thing. But now what am I going <laughs> to eat for this month? You know, things like that. Yeah, no, so, I agree. Um, I There's really, one really thing... believe rather in spending per month and that equating to something or compounding into something than, than me like, yeah, yeah. Oh, I really need this in my life. <laughs> it's so cool but do I really am I really it's really gonna serve a purpose in my life you know and I don't want yeah, to have that dilemma every time I want to buy much you know yeah I agree fully with that man um there's one thing that I want to add as well to that answer um the fact that you can actually choose between three different franchises um mm -hmm. nobody else does that as well so yes, I feel like definitely. that's what really makes our box special um where if with another company, you could literally just choose Marvel or just choose DC, yes. where we want to give you a bit of choice and we'll we'll give you up to three different franchises that you can choose from.
Nice, and then if they even if they just want the one franchise, then that whole box would be just filled with Marvel if they want to. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yes. Um, specifically with the, the the franchises that are vast, like Lego and gaming. Um, if they just choose that, like it's it's a very vast world, so you can yeah. literally do anything in there, and you just specify for us what's your what's your favorite stuff from the gaming world, and we make it happen. Nice, I love it. Okay, awesome. So, what is your vision? For the future like what's your vision for galaxy box where do you want to see this go um hopefully we become huge um at the end of the day for me it's all about making people happy and mm. seeing well i probably won't be able to see all the expressions on their faces but just knowing that um they love our boxes at the end of the day um we really hope to grow big and um since we are a local business that people will support us at the end mm. of the day Okay, awesome. And uh, hopefully people will stream their reactions and their unboxings um, <laughs> of this because essentially it is an unboxing every time, you know, so they would Definitely, like to. Yes. Hope that they would be like awesome. Yeah, exactly. They should like to. <laughs> and since okay. it's a mystery box, they can, <laughs> they can literally share what they got and tell the world. Yes, exactly. Okay, so how does the tier system work with in terms of the size of the boxes? Because I noticed there's sizes now and uh, the 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 month one that you mentioned as well. Okay, so what we do, we have four different tiers at the moment. Um, hopefully we can grow into um, the next couple of years depending on how successful we do get. Um, but our starter box is the sneak peek box. Um, and then, so that's just the... That's a little basic box, but just to give you a bit of a sneak preview of what to expect in our bigger boxes. Um, then we also have the silver box, which uh, the one that uh, Cyber Khajiit got, so you can kind of gauge what uh, you get in that. Uh, we also have a um, uh, the gold box, sorry, <laughs> um, which is a bit no, bigger. No, it's cool. And Carry on, dude. I'm just Holy showing Grail. everybody the site. But yes, okay, so you <laughs> have did. the sneak peek box, and then right after that is... Okay, so then we have the silver box, uh, which is a bit bigger, and that's the one that we sent to Cyber Khajiit, so you can go and have a look at that. Uh, we also have a gold box, and we finally have the holy grail of our boxes, which is the diamond box, and that's the one that you guys saw on uh, Kashmir Tar stream. Oh, nice. Yes, the big, big box with so Cyber So ultimately, um, we do have the we have, we have options uh, where you can either do it as a one. Ah, yes, yeah. So option. this month to month, the month to month one, right? The once off and then uh, the yeah. subscription box. Yeah, there's the, the once off on all of the boxes. So if you don't feel like subscribing at all, you can literally just buy it once off, um, or you can subscribe. The sneak peek box is the only one that you can't subscribe to, um, since that's just a little preview box. Okay, but it is noted as the perfect gift, dope, and then they can do yes. the. Three month, the six month, and the twelve months. Twelve subscription. months. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so prices awesome. just very. Uh, 12 oh, and then yes, we need to talk awesome. about this, dude. We need to talk about this because not a lot of people have it. <laughs> Actually, rarely every anybody ever has it, and I love you for doing this. Tell them, <laughs> tell them about the shipping. Just say it right now. <laughs> Okay, so shipping for us is absolutely free. Uh, we yeah! don't charge a shipping fee. <laughs> I, I love it. I love it. I am so excited about that. Just again, shipping is free. Okay? You just have to pay for the box. And that is it. Yes, that's it. That's it. I and love then it. I love we it. Just I love ship, it um, at, at this stage, we unfortunately just ship twice a month. Um, hopefully, as we pick up, get busier. Um, we can you really can, look yeah. at that and, and have more frequent shipping. But at the moment, but that's still okay, month, man. I'm happy. Even twice a month is good for me, man. We just wait for a specific <laughs> yes. date. I will choose yes. anything. Anything is better than not paying for damn shipping. Dude. You have no idea. Yeah. I am so Indian yeah, yeah. at the end of the day. You know, every single little extra price irritates the hell out of me. You know, uh, like no, or sure. like on like on Uber Eats, you know, you you pay for an eats, <laughs> you pay for an eats damn pass, but then at the same time, yeah. I still pay a service fee on top of that. I'm like, what's the point? What is the point <laughs> and, of you? And you know, you you're so chuffed with yourself that your meal is only that, yeah, and right. Comes to shipping and it's two fifty, <laughs> man. <laughs> like ridiculous and i'm like and sometimes i love to keep it under a certain amount so i get absolutely irritated if it's even one rand over that amount yeah. and it's because of the service fee that stupid thing yeah, like exactly. why are you making me pay for an eats pass every month if it's not going to cover that crap why it doesn't make yeah, sense yeah no, no 
I agree, man. Oh, <laughs> sorry. That's just a pet peeve of mine. I just had to vent about it. No, I feel like a lot of South Africans oh, yes. will join you on that, man. <laughs> no, definitely. Yeah. So free shipping, that is the best epic part. Thank you so much for deciding yeah. that on behalf of me and the entire geek community. We love <laughs> you for that. You're welcome, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we talked about the tiers. We talked about the types of boxes that you can get. What I want to know is, uh, what's your process, you know, behind the scenes? You're, this is a little bit of uh, interview BTS, you know, like, how does it go into creating a box? You know, how do you source the stuff um, without, you know, don't give away your like secret recipe or whatever, but I'm just saying, <laughs> no spoilers a lot or anything like that. But I'm just saying like, how does it work for you that you can get the stuff and then put it in a box and it's all different fandoms, it's all different things, you know, is there like little Eugene walking through the aisles and like, okay, yeah. we're going to take that one, <laughs> we're going to take that one. You know, how does it work? Uh, that's the reason why we um, ship twice a month and why if you buy be between the 1st and the 15th, you only get your box on the 25th. Um, we really try uh, tirelessly to look everywhere, like the whole globe. I'm telling you, man, we look literally everywhere for, for the stuff that we're looking for. If you choose your categories and you say you want DC, you want um, Harry Potter and you want Pokemon, we literally scour the whole galaxy to find stuff just for you. I love <laughs> so that. It's that is a, so cool, it's man. A, it's a very broad um, aspect to it, but yeah. it's something that we love doing. Like, we love going to look for stuff. And, like, if you, the moment that you see it, you're like, yes, yeah, that's something we want in this box, and you you get it, you know? <laughs> wow. Okay, so, but then how, that, how does the timing work with, in terms of if you start scouring, you know, the globe to get it, and then it gets to you? I mean, is there any delays with that, or...? Is it fine with South African customs and things like that? Yeah, pretty much. Um, so we, like all the places that we currently source from, um, we have a good relationship with um, in terms of shipping and all of that. Um, so the moment that we do digitally put your box together, um, it's basically a week from then, then we have all your stuff. So um, luckily, and we're fortunate to have that, to have that ability to do that. Um, but literally, as soon as we get your order, the process starts. Um, wow. when we kind of I can't wait for time. Christmas time, man. You know, all the people that will be ordering for Christmas time. Imagine that. I mean, I, I would even put it on my freaking link tree. I do like, you know, I'll be like, if you want to ever get me anything, and I'll put it on my WhatsApp status so that family members and friends can see it specifically. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, you guys are going to get me anything this year. Get me a random mystery box full of all my geek dumb stuff that I love. You know, I just think yeah. that's going to be so cool because... Christmas time is really the time that you want the mystery. You know, you want the surprise. You open it under the oh, yeah. Christmas tree and you're like, holy crap, <laughs> this is so cool. Someone actually like yeah, exactly. actually talked about me and the stuff that I love. You know, it's not just another sweater like Ron gets from his mom every single year. It's not just um something else. It's it's something specific to me and I love it. Yes. You know what the other beauty of it is as well, um, and specifically for creators and um, a little bit more famous people, um, if we do boxes for them, it's easy for us to see what kind of stuff they have. I can literally look in your background and I can see a whole lot of um, fandom things. So I know yeah. if I pack that box, that's the stuff I'm not going to put in there um, because you already have it. Um, so we we are going to kind of um, look into that and we want to have a little bit of a back and forth with people uh, when they buy the boxes. If um, We haven't seen anything of them um, posted on online or whatever. Um, we need that interaction a little bit to build the ultimate box for them. But mm. yes, that's basically how it's going to go. Nice. I love how organized you are with like everything that's put in place. You know, like even in terms of you just telling me like, this is the day we ship. This is the <laughs> day uh, that you can order, you know, the periods in between. I think that's really amazing that you have all this forethought. You know, it's not just, it's not just a startup business for you. It's like you're thinking yes, long term. Yes. You're thinking like, where does this go? <laughs> You know, and how and can it I has keep been a while. Yeah, it, it, it's been some time for me to at least think of all this stuff because, like mm. I said, just before COVID started, is actually when I already started thinking of what I want to do, how I want to do it, where am I gonna um, ship from, and yeah, it's it's been a journey, man. It's been really exciting stuff. That is so cool. I I, I really really enjoyed your perspective on the stuff, and I'm excited on where you're taking this. You know, and just yeah. to let everybody know, if you haven't seen my social media, 
This all came about from Eugene, or rather Galaxy Box, sending me one of the coolest freaking proposals I've ever gotten in my life. Not just as a content creator, but just in my life. It was so <laughs> custom made. It was just hyping me up to the nth level. I couldn't believe it. Like, why is somebody else talking about me this way? Um, so really and truly, man, you made me feel so humbled and honored that day. Thank you for making such a personalized proposal. Um, and being so honest welcome, about man. you know how you want to work together. Yes, no, you're very welcome, man. And um, hopefully through all our boxes, we can get that same feeling towards people. Like we just we're not just there to take your money. We want to walk a road with you. We want to have the journey, have all the fun that we possibly could. Um, because at the end of the day, it's something exciting and something that gets yeah. my heart. Um, to make the other person feel special. That's what we want to. Um, that's our approach with all of this One oh thing man like, that is just special. too awesome and again yeah it's not about the i think the price range at the end of the day it's more about supporting these amazing boxes and what you're going to get out of it every month you know and like we it talked is, about yeah. again it's splitting the money so you're not paying an arm and a leg every single month you're playing um the long game you know yes exactly man like how we pay for Disney chat, Disney Plus and freaking all these 10,000 streaming <laughs> things. It's better to rather yeah. just have that monthly thing go off than every month yeah. paying no, a thousand agree, or man. something, you know? But yeah, I love it. I, I love agree. it. It's really cool. Thank you so much for joining me today. I mean, I think we've covered literally everything that I needed to ask you and what's <laughs> the real excitement about these boxes. <laughs> yes. But okay. You saw the part where she took out that little, that little cost baby, um, the Catwoman one. We, she, I did, but you know what I loved the most was the Harry Potter excellent. thing and that lit up. Like, how the hell? You, <laughs> yeah. That was such a cool little surprise because it said, try me, yeah. right? And then she did it and the light came on and it looked too cool. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, of course, the Catwoman because so, she cosplayed Michelle Pfeiffer's yeah. version, which is the best Catwoman to me, right? Nobody yeah, else can. No, that... She's the best <laughs> Catwoman. That and she did it cool. so well, cosplaying that. She, like, her cosplays are excellent, man. So um, you'll see that the type of people that we um, want to jump on board with, I'm not going to just choose a, a hundred different gamers. I, I literally, my vision with that was to look for someone in each category, each franchise that we're doing. Um, so to broaden the, the reach and to make sure that everybody gets a chance to see what we're all about. Mm. And I think it's also about the vibe, you know, that the people that you vibe with, it doesn't have to be the biggest or the craziest yeah. or the ones yeah, that are the most yeah. hyped. Now it has to be somebody that you vibe with as a business. You know, you see this no, and you're like, sure. wow, I actually like the content that they create. You know, you like yes. the content yeah. that Mish creates. Yes, exactly. No, because I can tell you, we've received um, a lot of uh, uh, creators that um, approached us and asked, can, um, can we jump on board? Can we do a collab? But the thing is, I do go and look at the following. I do um, go and look at the content that they create. So at the end of the day, if you're not chosen, you're not chosen. But um, I do I do, do my due diligence and look properly to see that, yes, I want to work with these people mm. um, because I can see that they put effort, time, um, their whole heart into it. And that's the kind of um, people I'm going to keep teaming up with. Yes. And again, Eugene is changing the game <laughs> because he's actually sending the proposals to them. As opposed to the yeah, other way exactly. around, you know, and just receiving yeah, proposals. Because, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm yeah, sure you exactly. get proposals all the live long day. Um, and maybe even yeah. catered and personal ones. But the change for me was that you did it the other way around, you know, in sending me <laughs> a proposal. Whereas we're the ones always sending proposals. Um, so, yeah, yeah man, no, I, just, sure. I really loved it. And um, these freaking boxes are too epic, dude. What was it? It's the <laughs> it's the sneak peek, the silver, and then the gold. Silver? Gold and, and then, then the diamond. diamond. Oh man, that is yeah. too cool. We gotta show like each of those ones. Who's doing the sneak sneak peek one? Um, so we've sold one sneak peek so far. Um, it was to a dude in Cape Town, and um, I'll be posting. I think yeah, schedule it for next week that I'll give it oh, a, bit of a, cool. a nice. preview of what we sent. Yes, um, so I yeah, see that. we had one sale for the sneak peek box already. Nice, that's lovely. Was it a gift or was it like he wanted the sneak peek box? Uh, no, it was a gift for somebody else. Oh, man, that's even more yeah. special. I think it's even more special because I know I would yeah. feel hella special. If anybody's listening out there, uh, yeah. that's, that's going to buy me anything, you know what you're buying me for this month. 
<laughs> but yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I just think that's so special if somebody does that for you and, and you're having the conversation with that person, right? To go back and forth and be like, what do they like? Yes. What don't they like? Yes. You know? Yes, exactly. So Because there's such a fandom that, that I don't something... like things from there. You know, and I want to specifically be like, no, I don't want that. Yeah, shit. exactly. You know? And we've, we've, we've received a couple of times where people said, like, I love Marvel, but yo, I don't like Hulk, so please don't send me anything of that. And that's, that's exactly what we have um, as an option on our website. You can literally say, this is the interest, this is what I don't like, which kind of just adds to the personalized. Yeah, so, and like you yeah. mentioned, I think people should also include like uh, a handle, a social media handle for the person, you know, so that you can go check out what yeah. they like and don't like. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and I mean, if they really, um, if they're against that, then they have a private account in any way. So, um, but if it's open, then we'll go and have a look and see what they like, uh, what kind of stuff nice. they, they have already and just be thoughtful without backing off the box. Oh, nice. I'm already eyeing that platform nine and three quarters, whatever is behind your head there. <laughs> <laughs> that looks so cool. <laughs> I want it away. Yeah, it's... <laughs> Try to be funny, are you? Nine and three quarters. Um, <laughs> the the one that's... Uh, okay, so what, what did Mish get with her box? What was the stuff I, I saw? So far, I saw it was, it was the Catwoman, the Batgirl figurine, right? Yeah. The yeah, Harry big one, Potter yeah. freaking light that what it was a, like yeah. a pop that lit up. Yeah, it's called a wow pod, and basically it's like um, a wow little okay. it a, a hexagon um, shape. So what they've what they've done with wow pods is um, all of them light up, and then you can literally build on your wall. Oh, like, like a hexagon! So freaking, at the end of the day, oh yeah, my god, that's you've so seen cool. some of the gaming setup. So um, that. That's yeah, the, the gaming setup. This is so much better that. because it's like a pop that's lit up. Oh, I love that idea <laughs> yeah. already. And you, you currently get um some. I know what I want in my box. In Harry Potter, <laughs> you have um the Star Wars ones. There are uh, Marvel and DC ones. So it's it's quite a broad and pretty much all the franchises that you see. Oh, nice. Okay, okay. And then what box. else did she get with the thing? Um, we also sent her some Harry Potter um house digital makeup brushes. And she's, oh, um, she's even a more she's actually a makeup artist so um yeah we sent to that uh let me think what else did you send uh sure now i can't i'm drawing a blank <laughs> drawing <here>. a blank. <laughs> uh but i i, I think i um, know oh, we, we also sent her we we, we sent her two um two comic books from suicide Squad yes tell well, us about one, tell us about the comic book thing you've mentioned in the on the dms the comic book that you want to or the comic book that you want to integrate to each box? Yeah, so we're pretty much going to guarantee a comic book in every subscription box or, um, well, not the sneak peek boxes. So in our silver, gold, and diamond boxes, you guaranteed to get um, comic books. Essentially, if you choose Lego, then you can't expect the comic book because I don't think there are. But um, <laughs> pretty much in all the other... I'm sure the Lego are... movie has a comic book, though. I'm sure it must have <laughs> But if there is, we'll find it and we'll put it in. So, <laughs> nice. Um, but what I feel like in South Africa is there are there are some comic book enthusiasts, but there could be more. Mm. So we want to kind of broaden that that interest and, and bring it in yeah. to comic books as well. So definitely there has to be comic books in there. I box. love that because I would love to just get a comic book per month instead of just going, you know, and getting... um. Because I can't choose which comic book I want to get, man. There's so many. <laughs> it's so hard to choose. Yes. Just take away. Yeah, so, I think that's another thing that I love about this is that you take away my decision-making process. Because again, yes. I get so pedantic with what I want <laughs> and what I what I can't choose right now. You know, so it's better to be out of my hands. I just tell you what I love. Wait, wait, wait. Just show everybody again. Just show everybody again the book because I need to feature this somewhere, dude. Oh, history of magic, and it's got the phoenix on the freaking cover. So this was a twentieth <laughs> yeah. anniversary edition. Wow! Yes. So what basically, it says in magic. celebration of the twentieth anniversary of publication of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, you invited to explore the history of magic. I love so, it. Yeah, I love it. It's a, probably a compilation real of cool... everything that she's revealed so far. You know, in the world. Yeah. But still, I mean, just to have a book called The History of Magic. You know, that is yeah. so epic. And the other one was the unofficial cookbook, right? That was, I think, oh, the yeah. other one. I did hear about that. That's why I'm saying I'm so curious why I didn't hear about the 
um yeah <laughs> history of magic one that is really yeah cool. i want the butter beer recipe we have got to get that butter beer recipe and try it i'm th- i'm sending it to you <laughs> <laughs> someone was saying it maybe tastes like butterscotch you know similar to- i, I, I would want it to taste like that or something caramelly you know yes, yes like yes. a caramel soda i think, I think as I you take the step you that. just like everything warms up and you're just happy man <laughs> Like oh, a that'd be amazing. As long as it's non-alcoholic, forehead. though, <laughs> it needs to be non-alcoholic. Yes. <laughs> but I want that yeah. feeling. I want that feeling that you have when it goes down. Okay, so we're making butter yeah. here. That's definitely a must. <laughs> I'll send you have the you recipe. played Hogwarts Legacy? No, not yet. Um, no, actually not. So I'm still I'm still saving up for a PlayStation Five. Um, nice. Even though it is available on PS4. But I want to experience. No, it it's not PS5. available now. We have to wait like freaking for a few months before it comes out of there. <laughs> yes. So now I've been I've been avoiding streams. I've been avoiding posts because I want to experience it for myself since oh. I'm such a huge Harry Potter fan. Don't avoid but, um, it though, man. It's... Just like watch some of it. <laughs> Nothing is really gonna get I'll... ruined because, dude, I am telling you now. Even if you know, even if you watched a hundred videos, <laughs> it is never going to feel the same when you're yeah. playing it yourself. When you feel that yes. controller and you're flying for the first time, <laughs> flying a broom, like yeah. now I know you're a Harry Potter fan. When you're flying a broom yes. for the first time, or like Buckbeak, when you're flying a freaking yes, yes. a freaking hippogriff for the first time, oh my god. Uh, Dude, I'm like what, 30, 39, 40 days in on the game, and I still okay. end the stream with me going and riding mm-hmm. on a hippogriff. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and the chat is asking me, like, Dude, aren't you tired of this by now? I'm like, never. <laughs> It is Never, so ever. freaking amazing. Yeah. Where else do you get to yeah, fly so... freely? Tell me, where do you get to fly? No, games don't do that. It's always like, yeah, you got like true. a little wheel there that gives you anxiety. You're going to fall down just now from flying because <laughs> yeah. it takes stamina yeah. apparently to fly. You know? Yeah, That's I, I, I have to be it. honest as well. Like, I actually have a day job at the moment still. So I'm doing Galaxy Box um, after and as I get a chance through working day. Um, but I just don't have the time to play games at the moment. Eh? I can, like, I between being a too. dad, doing the business, even having a day <laughs> job still, it's Jeez. like I'm really juggling like a lot of stuff. And yeah, gaming, unfortunately, I had to put it aside for a little bit. But I'm, I want to get back into it. I'm sure when Noah's maybe a, a year or so older, by that time, I would have um, gotten a PlayStation 5 already. <laughs> nice. And first game is going to be Harry Potter, <laughs> the, the Hogwarts Legacy game. So I love that. Maybe even the second one might be out by then. <laughs> by yeah. the time yeah. that. So, I'm just, I've just of, experienced I'm just thinking of Molly Ma- Bobby Brown, you know, calling, Noah! Yes. Noah! <laughs> <laughs> That's how you're going to be. Like, Noah! Noah! <laughs> yeah, man. When he gets ah. to that terrible twos, good luck with that, dude. <laughs> Ah, thank you, man. Yeah, we're experiencing a little bit of it now already because um, he's like going through some sleep regression. Oh, um, so in the middle of the night, he literally wakes up and just looks at our sleep. So. Jesus. <laughs> you are so yeah. well branded, dude. You're like branding everything. <laughs> uh, yeah, but we, I've also well, loved I'm the content that it. you're creating. You brand a lot of stuff and you do it so well. And congratulations again on plus 500 followers now. Thank you very much, man. Yes, like that was awesome to reach that. And yeah, hopefully we just keep growing and growing. Exactly. And uh, what was the other milestones? I'm trying to think. Um, what was the other milestones I wanted to talk about? The followers and the... Damn it, I lost the train of thought. All right, <laughs> but I'm not going to keep you off for so long. We're going to be, we're going to finish up now. Um, Congratulations okay, on good. being a new dad. You know, you're bouncing baby. Thank Is you. It boy or girl? Boy or girl? <laughs> uh, we have a little boy. He's ah, eight months b- Bouncing baby boy. Congratulations, Eugene. <laughs> Thank you Welcome so much. Welcome to man. daddyhood. Um, <laughs> yes. Are you excited? Are yeah, you excited to like show him the ropes with geek uh, fandom and everything that you're excited about? <laughs> Yes, definitely, man. I can't wait till he's my level player too um, on <laughs> oh, all the epic games. That and, is adorable. Uh, if we play Fortnite or whatever it is going to be, <laughs> like, yes, I just can't wait for that, man. And the whole geekdom, he'll, he'll get, um, uh, ultimately, I, I wish to give and hand over this business when I can't. As a legacy thing. Yeah, that's so cool, yes. dude. Yes. So, yeah. But <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's really awesome to be a dad and um, a, a husband. And, yeah, it's We've just been blessed, man. 
uh, I'm excited for you and to uphold your whole gaming room with your kid to enjoy it with. <laughs> I'll send you this one <laughs> profile you, of this dude that built like this awesome gaming room for him and his kid. Yeah. It's like a little, okay. that is, that is like peak feeling like a kid again. <laughs> because it's like the kid and him basically enjoy the room at the yes. same time. It's awesome. I'll send it I want you. that. I want that for us as well. <laughs> nice. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to work with Galaxy Box and do the first unboxing. So be sure we're going to announce it on the stream. We'll do the unboxing and everything. So stay tuned yes. and follow us for more. Uh, this is Galaxy Box with two X's at the end of it <laughs> we'll put it in the chat as well yeah on where you guys can yeah. go follow them on all the social media accounts but truly this has been an epic talk thank you for telling me about the origin and your vision for galaxy box i'm so excited to see both come true um <laughs> and yeah just from my side personally again i'm honored and humbled to be working with you and uh yeah thank you so much for joining us man thanks a lot man it was lovely talking to you and i really hope that we have such an epic journey that lies ahead. Um, <laughs> yes. Same with Galaxy Box. I, I truly hope that South Africans um, can start seeing that uh, we're here for them and we want to provide all the merch, the collectibles, everything that they've wanted. It's here on our soil. We're doing it. Awesome. And yes, with the boom of Comic-Con Cape Town, it's going to skyrocket <laughs> even more. We're going to see more and more subscription boxes with Galaxy Box, I think. Definitely. That's Definitely, where all the fans will come together. Thank you for having me. Really appreciate it. I really appreciate it <laughs> yeah. too, dude. I'm so excited to get editing this and put it together and put it online. I'm really excited for that. Um, but I'm even more excited yeah. for the box. I can't wait to yeah. start that whole process. I mean, we're going to do the whole process, right? From start to finish, like ordering on the on site. On the website itself. Yeah, order, yeah. ordering on the yeah. site, us talking back and forth with what we're going to put in there. Yeah, I think it's going to be yeah. a big journey. <laughs> yeah, love it, man. I absolutely love it. Awesome, awesome. All right. Um, yeah, we did the following where they can follow you at uh, the website. Yeah, I think that's it. Did you have a subscription letter or is there something they can like sign up to to get notified and things like that? Or is um, it just, so you, just they, follow? So um, what do you mean now? Like as if they buy the boxes? No, no, no. I mean like so to subscribe to like uh, email newsletter or um oh yeah rather... um, so on our website <clears throat> you'll see actually on our website um way at the bottom there is a place where you can sign up for a newsletter okay. um and then hopefully we'll we'll do some monthly newsletters just to say what's featuring yeah yeah um exactly. and nice. yeah yeah no there is something like that at least okay cool and uh so they can follow you on instagram what's the other accounts is it facebook so I also I also have a Facebook account. I have a Twitter account now after we spoke. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, Wait, you must give me the handle so I can actually... Oh, did you make it sure it's that same handle that's on... Uh, I think the same yeah, handle I'm, I'm trying to I'm I'm trying to keep everything the same. So it's at GalaxyBoxZA. Okay, dope. Um, I'm so going to go check now because I did, the... tag, I did tag the account <laughs> so that tweet should still be tagged to you now officially. Yes. So yeah, and yeah, shit. Okay, so we on Instagram, Facebook, we on Twitter, we on TikTok. Um, I just need to really broaden my my um, knowledge with all of the places because yo, I haven't been on on social media. I actually took a long <laughs> break, um, and only now. Oh man, I'll, I'll, I'll sort you start out. Learning we'll just the do like again. a quick. We'll just do like a quick of what each uh, where each platform is. You know, like you know, yes. Instagram so, is pictures. So send you. Um, Twitter is short form conversations. TikTok is yes, obviously yes. videos and hyping yes. up uh, trending sounds. So just putting your videos on trending sounds. That's a nice platform for unboxings. It's going to be TikTok. That's going to be really nice. And then YouTube exactly. as well. Yeah. And you yeah. can put the, so you I'll can just you... share your customers. Actually, you can share their videos. You don't have to actually yeah, it's just, exact... it's their content. <laughs> and you're just going to yeah. repurpose. That's basically yeah. it. Um, so I'll get your number on Instagram and um, then yeah. we can actually start ch chatting on WhatsApp a bit more frequently. Yeah, um, since we, we gonna, we're going to need to do that a bit more frequently. And then um, <laughs> yeah. I'll just send you all the, all the um, handles and links to our, all our places. Where you, you yes, exactly. Following. Exactly. But I'm excited for the Twitter one now. Now I can tag something every <laughs> single time because every single time. Because <laughs> yes. I want to do like, I want to do like, um, Features on stuff outside of what we agreed on. You know, I don't want to just only yes. talk about the box because it's going to be a while tonight yes, yes. since I get the box. <laughs> so I want to yeah. like 
share stuff that's already coming out and like I want to share yeah, Misha's that. video and stuff like that. Um, you know, yeah. and get that going. But yeah, we will talk about the box and what we're choosing on the first of April. I'm so excited for that. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad that it's yeah, it's man. after all these campaigns, you know. I'm glad at least yeah. you gave me you gave me patience. I'm impatient, so you gave me patience. <laughs> so now it's gonna be the first of April. I'll be clear headed. Um, at first I thought it was April Fools, you know, because it's the first of <laughs> April and he's messing with me. <laughs> but, no, not at all. But okay, first of April, we'll go check it out.